Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Andrew's Journey. What you people are currently looking at is my mini stove, which I use to cook at least a couple of my meals I eat per day. Now, one of the many realities of ant life is, is when it comes to cooking, you know, after working a whole eight to... 10 hour a day like I'm currently working you're not going to want to spend a lot of time cooking you're going to want to cook things that are relatively quick and fast that you can just throw in heat up and then eat and go on with your life so like right now what I'm cooking is I'm cooking a in this oven I got a can of beans and also got a can of yams so I got my protein and I got my carbohydrates. And under my coat, I keep my water. If I want ice cold water, then I got some ice cold water in this cooler. And also in this cooler, if I want... See, I got water, I got yogurt, I got, I got me some vegetables I can eat, I got fruits, which I normally eat in the morning with, with my oatmeal, I'll do a video about that, so that's why I keep all my non-perishables. And let me show you what I got in my portable oven here. What I have in my portable oven is a can of beans and a can of yams. And I have them just like this. this I just put in the whole entire can, heat up the can. And then I crack open the can and I do my thing. I mean right now they're not quite ready for me to eat they're still warming up a little bit typically to cook it like this it's going to take me around 20 minutes to a half hour and this oven by the way is a 12 volts oven it's operated by my cigarette lighter right here just plug it into your cigarette lighter keep it in for like a half hour and then in a half hour or so, everything's done. Now, if I wanted it to cook, like, just the beans or just the potatoes, I can do that in probably 15 minutes. And also up here, I got my bananas. And I use my coat to cover my bananas to keep, just to protect them, I guess. So... What you people are seeing is going to be my lunch for today. But yeah, I just wanted to let you... And, and also, as far as this oven is concerned, I mean, I've had this oven on my van tour video. But this, uh, it, for those of you that want to buy an oven like this, you can buy an oven like this at Flying J. Or loves I mean I don't care what state you go to you're gonna run into a flying J and or loves one of these are gonna take you back I want to say 30 bucks which is not the bargain of the century but in my humble opinion it's a lot better than going out to eat or having to eat all your meals cold and see me I like having hot meals so that's why I bought this little oven. I mean, it's it's been a good investment. I like it. I love it. Like I say, it, it, it's a 12 volt oven. So, you know, and, and to me, i rather use something like this as opposed to using propane. Now, I know a lot of you people in the van drilling community, you probably prefer propane. Now, propane 
cooking does have its advantages but when you're like me you're working like a ton of hours a day or you wake up and maybe it's raining outside you're not going to feel like going outside and getting everything set up to use propane to cook especially if it's cold or if it's raining or if you're like me you have a relatively busy work schedule I mean, I find buying an oven like this uh, uh, much more convenient. And there's quite a few things you can cook in this oven if you really uh, are creative. And you can also go to Walmart. And it, you can also go to Loves and buy liners. You can buy metal liners. Now, if I were you, I would buy that kind of stuff at Walmart. Sometimes you can buy them at Dollar General or at Dollar Tree. But they got little liners that go inside here. That way, if you're cooking something messy, you can just throw it with a liner. And you're not going to have to worry about a whole bunch of mess on the up, in the oven. So... And I'm going to show you guys the box. That way, if anybody chooses to go purchase one of these bad boys, I'm going to show you the box. That way you know what to look for. Here's the box. It's a 12-volt portable stove. And it heats up your food to 300 degrees, which is plenty hot for most meals. So, you know, that's basically what the box is going to look like when you go to the place and buy it. And like I said, you're going to most likely find something like this either at Flying J or at Love's. So, I thought I would just point that out to you people. For those of you that are looking to live this van life. Or you're in a position to where you got to live this van life. So, until next time, take care. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.